So what's up guys? Um, today we have an iPad 7 um, that had a de uh, damage uh, FPC connector right here. So our customer um, tries to replace the, the LCD screen, somehow damaged the connector. Not sure you can see it from here, but uh, we can take a look closer at the microscope. So uh, today we're just going to show a pretty simple method, you know, just to replace the FPC connector. Uh, Okay, so uh, as you can see under the microscope, um, it's pretty damaged right here and here. And uh, the only way to fix this is to remove this and put a new one in. So we have the uh, brand new uh, FPC connector. It's recommended to use a brand new one. Uh, it's set up, you know, I mean, sometimes in cases where you don't have one laying around, you can use uh, one from the uh, donor board, but you know, it's recommended uh, to use the brand new one. <laughs> so what we do is we're gonna remove this one and put a new one on. Um, so we want to cover some of the areas around here and we don't want to put heat on it. So the Try to code this area right here. It's also on the Wi Fi, I see. There you go. And that's good enough. Now let's put on some uh, So um, let's put on some uh, flux. Turn on the air. Uh, we need a bigger nozzle. This is not so a little bit too small uh, to generate any decent amount of heat. In addition, in addition to that, we're going to use this low melt. Uh, it's pretty low melt. Look at it. You can see that. So it helps us to remove this uh, thing much easier. So, so we don't want to put too much heat on the board. So it's best to use a low melt. Thing this with this low melt is yeah it can get all over the places see and a little bit over here see it's very really easy to remove it when you have low melt look at that Moves right off. So we need to clean it up, uh, the low melt stuff. So that's, you know, as you can see, it's pretty easy when you use low melt. Otherwise, you have to put a lot of heat and on the board and it could damage the board. So, but the thing is, you know, when you use low melt, you got to clean up all everything. Otherwise, when you put on a new uh, connector, it doesn't hold as strong as you know as the original. So we need to clean all everything up. Make sure they are up. A bit more over here. Good. Let's clean it. Uh, some alcohol. So the low melt uh, solder you can buy on Amazon. Uh, they're pretty cheap. They're about you know. Uh oh. Oh man. See as you can see, 
this capacitor had low melt on it and now it's gone let me see that sucks I'm not gonna find another one to replace it well good darn it let me see that's that's a capacitor or let's check the see that's capacitor or that's the uh, resistor hopefully that's a capacitor you know this capacitor this should be one ground and one okay this is capacitor because there's a ground here so uh, we can find one that's you know comparable and put in uh, it's just a small capacitor so okay so uh Let's find a, a donor capacitor. So we there a bunch of them. Um, check the side of this one. So it'd be equivalent to this one. Uh, where is that? Yeah, so it'd be equivalent to this capacitor right here. So we can use that. Uh, it's good. Okay, it's good. So let's put a new one on. So we want this to be as close as possible. You know? Then when we put it on, we don't have to move it around too much. Too much over here. It's good over there, but this one needs, this part right here needs to be a little bit over. So speed. Yeah, that's be good. We can move around a little bit more. Okay. So we need to move this around back and forth. Don't just hold it in one place. It's because you're gonna melt the plastic, which we don't want to do. can see we need to move this a little bit more a little bit more over but hopefully it will line itself oh that's too much oh ah, that's good not too bad Okay, I think that's good. 
good. Is it? You can take a closer look. They're line. Oh, it's a little bit off. Uh, it's too much water. Now let's push it back. But that's okay. We can push it back. Come on. We just move down a little bit, and we should be good. It's been a stumper. So now we have to check, uh, make sure to see if they're connected. Okay, good. Let it cool down and then uh, should be done. Okay. Ooh, look at that's a big blob right there. It doesn't matter. Let's clean it up. So everything looks good. Let's test it. Yep. Yeah, looks good. So the customer didn't send us the uh, screen, so we couldn't test it. But it should be work. It should work fine. You know. All right, guys. Um, it looks good now. Uh, this screen here it looks pretty good from here. Let's make sure. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, this is a method that you can use you know, to take up the uh, FVC connector and put it back on uh, correctly. Um, you know, the taking off is easy, but uh, put it back on is a bit tedious. And then you make sure all the pins are connected properly, uh, or else you know will get returned. And the way we do that is you know we have to touch up uh, every pin to make sure it's all right. Um, oh, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hit the like button if you haven't done so, and subscribe to our channel.